When your arm gets tired, you let somebody else finish pitching the game. That's what Joe Biden has done, and he's done that for all of us. If anyone knows anything about baseball, pitchers just don't let someone take over. You get pulled from the game, which is precisely what happened to Biden. And so I just want to say, I don't know who's going to be the VP, the non-VP. I don't know anything about politics. I this dude is a political commentator, and he just said he doesn't know anything about politics. I just know that I love this man. I care about this man. It was painful every day to sit up here and talk about him like he's just a, you know, some, some problem for the party. Okay, you're right. He's not a problem for the party. He's a problem for everybody. But see, here's the thing. I don't know who in their right mind thinks that this crazy, hep well, that this crazy woman is going to be a viable replacement. Okay, first of all, nobody likes her. Nobody trusts her. And she, she's not even reliable. She disappears all the time and she shows up just long enough to cackle and then she leaves again. For anyone that's smart, you gotta know they're gonna put they're gonna put Manchelle Obama in the mix. Kamala's not gonna be the one. Kamala or Kamala or Camel Toe or Montel's Ho, however you wanna refer to her, she's not gonna be the one. She's saying she's gonna earn it and win the the nomination. She's not. She's not. No one trusts her, not even people on her side. She does a disappearing act. So this is not gonna be the one. So let's look out for who will really take that nomination. Van Jones is really gonna be crying then.